If you've booked and paid for travel for your students, you can request reimbursement from ABStudy. You need to use the ABStudy Reimbursement Authorisation Booking Form when claiming for more than one traveller. This is a different form to the ABStudy Travel Authorisation Booking Form and is only used when you need to request a reimbursement. You'll also need to send us a completed ABStudy Fares Allowance Claim Form and copies of paid receipts. Let's look at a scenario. Luana is a 16-year-old student getting ABStudy who travelled home for the school holidays and returned to school at the start of the new term. Luana travelled with her teacher. Her school booked and paid for Luana's travel. As the travel officer at Luana's school, you're seeking reimbursement for this travel. You use the ABStudy Travel TPO reimbursement form. Let's start by filling out the booking information sheet. In the box next to Action, choose Reimbursement. In the box next to Travel Reason, select School Vacation for Luana. You don't need to choose an option for Restricted Booking, Student Authorised to Call or Unrestricted Booking. These will be pre-filled for you. In Institution Contact Information, you need to fill out your contact details. You must include a contact for business hours and after hours. The ABStudy Travel Team contact information will be pre-filled for you. The second tab is the Travel Arrangement Sheet. This is where you tell us all the information about your student and their travel. Fill out the details for Luana's trip. You'll need to fill in Luana and her teacher's personal information, title, surname, first name, date of birth and traveller CRN. You'll need to put each traveller's information in separate rows. Traveller type is where you tell us the type of traveller. Luana is a student, so you would select student from the drop-down box. Luana's teacher is her travel supervisor. Select supervisor from the drop-down box. Then enter the travel date and return date. If you're claiming one trip, enter the date in the travel date column. Select the state or territory they are travelling from. You need to do this before you can select a town or community. In the Travel From column, select the town or community. If you can't find their town in the list, select Other and type it in the Comments column. Luana travelled with her teacher, so select Yes for linked travellers required. Choose the mode of travel. Anything else that we need to know you can put in the Comments section. This could be any information about accommodation, transfers or meals that were required during the trip. For this reimbursement, Luana had to transfer to take a second flight. Cost of travel is where you tell us the total travel cost. The last tab is the linked traveller sheet. You only need to fill this in if the student is travelling with someone else. If you've typed the information into the travel arrangements sheet, the information will show up in this sheet. It won't show up if you pasted copied text. Let's finish up Luana's reimbursement. You know Luana travelled with a supervisor. The travel information is listed under Traveller 1 and Traveller 2. This is because you chose Yes under Link Traveller Required in the Travel Arrangement Sheet. In Traveller 1, select Luana's details from the drop-down box and in Traveller 2, select the supervisor's details from the drop-down box. This will confirm that these travellers are linked. If you've organised travel on behalf of multiple students, you can include these on the same form. That includes if they travelled to different destinations or on different dates. Send the completed ABStudy Reimbursement Authorisation Booking Form, the ABStudy Fares Allowance Claim and Proof of Payment for the Travel to the ABStudy Travel Team by email to abstudy.travel at servicesaustralia.gov.au. If you need help filling out the spreadsheet, call the National Business Gateway on 13 to talk to an ABStudy Travel Officer.